Hey gamers, it's Kristen and I have some favorites for you. So it really was my goal this year to try to do more monthly favorites, but that is just not the way that it has worked out. Um, so I'm just going to do current favorites a couple times throughout the years, or throughout the years, the years, hopefully, throughout the months. And if I do them, if I have enough to do a monthly one, I will, but I just feel like I've been trying to kind of shop my stash quite a bit. Some of these things are newer to me as well, which is why I'm including them. But I don't know. I just haven't been out there, you know, looking at it. But I've been using, you know, my old favorites sort of a thing. So let's just go ahead and jump in. I do have some fails that I want to share with you first. So the first one is this Clinique Take the Day Off um, Eye. It's an eye makeup remover stick. This... It do, I, I don't understand it. It doesn't really work very well. You can, <laughs> you kind of have to put it on your fingers. If you put it on your eyes, you're putting it kind of over your makeup and I don't know, it just doesn't work and it's messy and I don't feel like it works at all. So I have been having to sit here and meaning to tell you guys about it for a really long time, but I thought it would be great for travel because right now I travel with a little baby size Biodarma. And I really was hoping that this was going to be the ticket for travel, and it's just not. It's not my favorite at all. So that is that is not a win for me. That one was a fail. Um, the next all right, so I want to preface this with I have very dry under eyes. I use an, an, eye, an eye moisturizer, obviously an eye cream is what I'm looking at, or what I'm trying to get. <laughs> it's the words that I'm trying to spit out. I definitely use an eye cream. But I think if you kind of, if you're um, prone to having dry under eyes, sometimes it doesn't matter what kind of eye cream you're using if the product you're putting over it isn't going to work for that sort of under eye. You know what I'm saying? So this is a sample of this. I also want to say that I don't have the real one and maybe the sample was old one. I, I don't know. But it's the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer I've in the shade number one. It just, it seems like super creamy, but when you put it on, A, it doesn't cover anything. I'm just going to put a little bit there. And then when you when you blend it in, it just shears out and doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to cover anything for me. And I feel like it, oops, I dropped the cover. I feel like it makes my dryness really stand out. All of a sudden, when it looked well moisturized before I put something on it, I put this on and it's just super dry. So that was not a win for me either. And lastly, I touched on this in my haul video because I had this hanging around a little bit, but I just wanted to mention it again for those of you that maybe don't watch haul videos. This is the Touch and Soul um, Duo, I'm trying to think what it's actually called, Metalist Liquid Foil, Glitter Shadow. So it's this, this sort of thing. On the one side it has a shimmer which looks really pretty and it's really liquidy when you blend it out at all though it pretty much disappears so there's that it could just be the shade that i have by the way the one that i have is in it's in tatiana but then the other side has this glitter and it's super chunky and like hardly any comes out on this and it's like this um plastic can you see how chunky that is? Just no. <laughs> if you blend it out, then it, I don't know. It just is not a win for me. I know there are some people that really like these, and God bless them, but this one, not so much for me, so I will be taking that back. All right, let's move on to some favorites. I want to get, this is kind of a rediscovered, not kind of, it is a rediscovered favorite. I loved this foundation in the past. I had, I went through a whole one repurchased it and then it stayed in my drawer or wherever I was storing my foundations at the time and if you guys watch my lives you know or you read below what I'm wearing on my face you know that I've been wearing this for quite some time now it's on my list to finish up and you can see I've almost have it I've had had I have had n not uh, what am I trying to say here it hasn't been hard to use it that's what I'm trying to say I love this this is the Bobbi Brown skin foundation apparently there's one that's like a long-lasting um, skin foundation. I think I did a review on this eons ago and I still, I really like it. I just feel like it looks so nice. It's pretty much a medium coverage and then I will use a powder foundation over the top of it to add to coverage. So right now I've been using the Burberry Trench Powder, which is a favorite of mine. The only reason I'm not talking about it is because it's not available anymore. Um, I had one kind of a backup and I kind of, it was an actual backup in my stash. So this is the 
Burberry Trench Powder. If you have this, break this out and use this again. If you have this from eons ago, maybe from when we all, there are lots of us talking about it years ago. I wanna say like 2012, and then I used one up a couple years ago, got a replacement, and just had, had it sitting in my in my drawer. So I love this. I wish that, it's actually, it's called the Burberry Sheer Foundation Trench Zero One. And I don't believe that they make it anymore. When I've looked in the past, I haven't been able to find it, but I, I do actually. I absolutely love that. So that's what's on my face is the combination of this with that powder foundation over. So, and I feel like sometimes it's better to get a fuller coverage that way, kind of build up to a fuller coverage, than have a super full coverage foundation. I think it looks a little more natural and just looks a little bit better on the skin. So I wanted to give that one a mention since it's going to be gone very soon. It makes me happy and sad all at the same time. All right, so I was thinking about blush products and you know really the only one that I have used over and over for quite some time now is that I, I used it then I put it away then I used it again then I put it away then I pulled it back out again just the other day I'm wearing it today it's the hourglass blush in dim infusion it's a really nice kind of not kind of I'm trying to not say that kind of no it actually is uh, it's a peaches and cream sort of look and it's not like in your face you really can build it up if you want to or you can have it have a nice kind of sheer i just i love the hourglass blushes in general and this shade just has been really working for me and kind of it seems to work no matter what palette i've been using lately and i think part of that is i'm just leaning more towards colors that will go with peaches but i don't know so I, if I haven't been wearing that, I've been wearing some of the ones I've talked about a million times. Wet n Wild Rose Champagne, and I've kind of fallen back in love with Tarte Exposed again. I've been using that lately. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to give that a mention because I just, ugh, I can't. It's so pretty. It's just so, I think it's so pretty. So I don't have this on today because I wanted you to see the sheen just of the blush, but the highlight that I continue to go to over and over is the Becca Vanilla Quartz. This kind of snuck in at the end of the year and made my yearly favorites because it, like I said, it came in very much at the end of the year. Oh, it's so pretty. If you have my skin tone, I just feel, or a little bit lighter and a little bit darker. I think if you are much darker than me, I don't know how this would look exactly, but it's just so pretty. And actually what I'll do here. So let me just let you see what this looks like. I just have a Goss fan brush. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to do this while I'm on camera. Can you see how much of a sheen that adds? So, let me grab, this is the Bobbi Brown face brush. And I'm just going around the edge, not over the top of it, to make sure that it blends in. Just love this, absolutely love this. All right, let's move on to some eye products. Probably the, uh, I don't know, it's probably a toss up between the two. So I really like this. I am stunned, quite frankly, how much I like this. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And it's not really a standalone palette for me because there really is only a couple of matte shades and everything else is shimmer. I don't love this shade. And it's kind of a bummer to me that there's so much of that shade, but that green is stunning. I've really enjoyed Love and Coco, Classy and Sassy. Let me grab Famous. So the, there are those. And Rich Girl is a very pretty cool taupe. That's just one just ch 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 of all of them. The pigment is good, although I don't think any of us really thought that the pigment wasn't going to be good on that palette. But I feel like I haven't heard a ton of people talking about this. Um, but I shouldn't even say that because, as you guys know, if you watch my lives, I've been just crazy busy. And the thing that I had to give was watching YouTube videos. So I'm probably really behind on what's going on in the YouTube world. <laughs> I'm just in my own little bubble right now, but um, which is not normal. Normally, I, I, I try to know what's going on, but I've really enjoyed that. A um, couple other palettes. I just want to talk about this palette again because I was so hesitant to get this when it first came out, and then I just, I've ended up using it with so many things, and that's the Too Faced Just Peachy Mats palette. I, I'll show it to you. I've, I'm sure you guys have all seen it a bajillion times. It is all mattes, and I really like some shimmer, but to pair this with a couple of singles, I've enjoyed pairing it recently with the Viseart Trist palette. Those shades go so nicely together. Uh, let me just actually, I'm gonna open these together side by side and show you guys what I'm talking about. I was talking about this in a live the other day. Can you guys see, if you have both of these, 
pull them out, they just really, they just go nicely with each other. And it gives you a few more kind of mid-tone options to go with this, a few more darker shades to go with this. The Vizier palette is lovely and gorgeous. Um, I haven't had it all that long, so I, I haven't, it's not included in a favorites, but it was a gift to me from Mary from Glitzy Fritzy for my birthday, and I have really been enjoying it. But anyway, so the Just Peachy Mats, it just goes with so many more things than you would think, and more things than I would think. I had a very kind of closed mind to it because of how, you know, warm and peachy, and I felt like, even though there's different shades, in my head, in my head I had it as being very one-dimensional, and it's not, so... There, there's that. And lastly, this is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. And this is was a gift to me from uh, my friend Tika when I saw her down in Dallas. And this is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. It's funny about this is that I looked at it in Sephora um, when I was there, when I was shopping with my friend Alicia in Indiana and was like, uh, I don't know, I kind of want it, but I don't know. And so then I had it in my hand and then I put it down. Well, I love this. <laughs> it's really, really good. And again, you can combine other things with it. You can use some of the shades from this with it. You can use it just on its own. Really, really pretty. So today I have this shade all over my, well, two thirds of my lid. This is over the top of it on the inner third. This shade in the crease and then this in the outer corner and beneath my lower lash line. And I just really, I really have enjoyed that. So wanted to wanted to talk about that all right let's talk about some lip stuff um one product that i didn't think i would like it came in my bot or in my um lucky bag from beautylish is this by terry it's just this velvet rouge number one i really like this it's nice i would love to get another shade in it i love the applicator it's kind of an hourglass and the shade is relatively believe it or not unique to my collection i don't have a ton of shades in this and you'll see kind of a theme in all of my lip products here and it, it's really really pretty the only thing i don't like about this is the scent it's really heavily scented it does dissipate but i don't appreciate that but i love the color i love the way it wears i love the pretty sheen to it so that one that one is a winner um couple of things from the drugstore so there's the, from the same line. I, I just recently showed these in a haul and I've been talking about them on my vlog channel. I really like them. This is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. They don't really plump. Let's, it, it just does not, let's just all understand it doesn't really plump. I mean, you can feel a little bit of tingle, but it's not even close to what like the Buxom, like White Russian does or anything like that. Anyway, um, the sh two shades that I have are Cashmere Cream and fresh petal and these are just so so one of the reasons that I like this is that you know not all situations do you want like a full-on lip that as it wears off it's not going to be as delightful as it wears off and um, I'm trying to get you guys a decent swatch so that's the fresh petal and then that's the cashmere and so why I've liked these is some you know when, when I'm going into a customer for instance, and I might be in there for an hour or whatever, and I know my lips gonna wear off as I'm talking or maybe I'm drinking coffee or whatever the case may be. I want it to just fade away and then it's just my lips and it's not a big deal and it's not a big line and you know what I mean? And these are really nice for that. They have a nice sheen when you first apply them. They're not gonna last forever, but I really like them. I think they'll be great for real quick like when if you're on vacation you want to throw on a lip or you know what I mean like just real quick run to the Walmart that sort of thing I really <laughs> I really like those and then lastly is a lip combo my friend Bahar uh, from Beauty Tangent on Instagram I will list her below for you uh, she every once in a while will send me a fun little package and she has just has a knack of picking out um, great little things whether it be a piece of jewelry that I'm gonna love or um, Anyway, so what she picked out for me in this, there was a few things in the package, but the thing that I loved the most was this lip combo. So the first thing, and I don't know if this is available anymore. I kind of had a hard time finding it when I was talking about it on my vlog channel. This is uh, the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Intake Charge. I think I maybe finally found it on Amazon. And it pulls out like this. There's a little thing on it. It pulls out like that. It's just very pretty. This is what I'm wearing today. Such a pretty lipstick and nice and neutral again it kind of has that same sort of undertone and with that is this lip liner from unique and prudent and she doesn't sell unique she just likes the product so that's the lip liner that i have on with that lipstick and then this 
This is the star of the show, and you guys saw if you saw my haul. I purchased a couple other um, from this line. <laughs> I was like, what was I saying? Uh, this is the Rimmel Stay Glossy 3D, and this one is in popcorn for a two. It's a little bit tricky to find. I did see it at my Walgreens, and I think I found it a couple places to go online, but it's on my lips right now. When I first put this on on a live, I was like, holy moly, there's just, there is this 3D, see that dual chrome to it? And it's just so pretty. I really, really like it to find my wipe. I, I really like it. I was so impressed with it. And I, I'm just, thank you again, Bahar, for that. Because I, I, like I said, I, I went out and bought some more because I like the formula. Not just what it looked like, but the formula is very smooth and not, it's not, it's it's sticky like your hair is gonna get stuck in it that's it's a gloss right but it's not like sticky where you're gonna see lines and that sort of thing it's just the smoothness of this is what gets me I just absolutely love it okay let's move on to some non makeup things first I want to say that I have jumped on the train with this this is Batiste dry shampoo this is the floral and flirty blush and I didn't like this when I had dark hair because I anything from the Batiste line when I had dark hair I really felt like it I couldn't quite get that white cast off even with my you know I've told people before I would I would hit it with with a blow dryer sometimes if I was using one that would show you know show a little white cast and that would totally help I felt like I could never quite get it away with the Batiste and that the um the dry bar you know which has always been my favorite but this is way less expensive you can buy three of these I think to the price of one dry bar and it works really well. So I wanted to say that because I've had so many people over the years suggest that I try this and I was like, well, I did, but I didn't like it. Well, now I do. So there you go. Also in the hair realm, um, Tika gave me this and I was like, thanks, because she gave me a comb. And uh, I love this, which is saying something because I have used the same kind of comb for decades, quite frankly. <laughs> Probably since I started doing my hair. The one with the little tail, either like a little rat tail comb or whatever. I don't know why, I've just always used that kind. It's not like I use the tail end of it for anything. I just happen to like that comb for back combing or whatever. I love this. So this is a Cricut Silk Comb Pro 30. I'll try to find it. She said she got it at Sally's, so I'll see what I can find for you guys below, but that if you're wanting to go out and look for it, I, it just works so well. You can use this end to go through your hair before you want to curl it. You can use this end to back comb it. It's amazing. Tika, genius. All right, a couple skincare things and I will let you guys go. Sorry, this is probably a little bit long. Um, the funny part about this is that I've been using this serum and thinking, boy, it just really does good things for my skin, I feel like. And then I did a live talking about skincare and talking about how I didn't do, um, and when I say live, I mean on Instagram live, about how I don't do glycolics because they kind of scare me. And somebody was like, you realize like the first ingredient in that serum is glycol. <laughs> oh, well, good thing. I'm right on top of things. You guys, I'm never going to pretend to you that I know everything because let's be clear, I do not. Uh, so sure enough, it, well, it's water and then it's um butylene glycol glycerin and then glycolic acid so this is the skin laundry restoring night serum and i i gotta tell you i really do feel like it's done great things for my skin and i would repurchase this i have several serums that i need to go through but i feel like this does where the lancome one that i love so so much the genifique where that i feel adds moisture and sort of plumps my skin. I feel like this one improves the texture and this kind of the signs of aging and things in my skin. So I have to do a little research because I would I want to figure out if I can use this and that at the same time. If I just kind of have some space in between when I apply them, I feel like I could do that. And I feel like I'd like to do it because the combination of the two would maybe be delightful or flip flop nights. I don't know. All I know is I like this and it really does something for me. And I think I got this in some box like a while ago more than a year ago and I just pulled it out to use it so I love this very happy with that I don't even know I'm gonna get more of it but I'm gonna find it all right lastly I'll link it below for you of course when I find it lastly I want to talk about this so I want to show you how much I've used of this this is the it cosmetic secret sauce and I've used this for a while now a couple of different ways and I want to say this I love this I I don't know that it would replace my algenis like my love for the algenis but I do, I do, maybe I don't love this, maybe I really like it. But 
I find this to be really moisturizing. It says that it's, you know, anti-aging. I don't know about all that. But I find it to be really moisturizing. And you, but, 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 this is a big but. I only use it at night. I cannot use this in the morning. If you use this in the morning under your makeup, it's just not, it's not pretty. I, I don't think. If you are even drier than me, maybe. But I have just been using this at night and I've been really enjoying it. And there's just no scent to it. So people that are concerned about fragrance, I think you would be fine and not have to worry about that. So I just wanted to talk about how much I've really been enjoying that because I was surprised. I thought, well, it's gonna be moisturizer. It's not a big deal. Probably not gonna be as moisturizing as I need, but it ended up being delightfully moisturizing. I still feel like I like the overall texture and look of my skin better when I'm using the Algenis Genius, but that's a good second. That's a good second. Second, um, place. All right. So I think that that is everything. I think I've told you everything that I have on my face as well. So there's nothing left to share. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for sitting down, hanging out with me. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. And I think that that is it. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and everything that you do and say, be beautiful.